one of the great things about the hobby is when you do a water change you can replace hardscape that's covered in algae with other rock or driftwood whatever you're using and arrange it in a fashion you haven't used before this is something new in this scape I found this terrific rock that's quite long and thin and my first thought was to prop it up to hide all of the intake of the hang on the back filter but it's a little bit too long so I decided to lay it on its side and prop it up with some daughter rocks without CO2 if you have a sufficiently fertilized substrate you can get pretty good growth with some hardy plants the tall stem plant is Rotala rundifolia then on the far right Ludwigia repens with the green coloration and I'm having good success with java moss I attached it to a couple daughter rocks in this scape and it did quite well surrounded by Rotala and Ludwigia so I went ahead and removed one of those rocks put it back in a different aquascape and in the process kind of unraveled it so it is just exploding toward the center of the tank here all of the males have some blue I've spent the past year or so maybe a little less trying to come up with blue handlers live bearers I think the next generation will look even better as I was able to acquire a couple females of the Japanese blue handlers live bearer their offspring should look terrific and I'm also waiting to see how the female tiger antlers which have been inseminated by my blue antlers bear their young I'm not sure if they'll have a green coloration or the striped markings I don't know what they'll look like I do try to avoid the what's known as the Noah's Ark syndrome where you just buy more and more varied species until you have sort of a hodgepodge in your aquaria I try to limit that somewhat in this tank I have cherry shrimp and amano shrimp with the male endlers I often think that a species tank would look best but it is nice to have not only fish but some scavengers as well I don't personally care for snails some like the nearite snail or the mystery snail but for me a snail is just a pest even if it doesn't reproduce uncontrollably I don't think it's attractive looks kind of unsightly sticking to the glass and it's a mollusk <laughs> 